What is going on, Gootubers? Gootubers, welcome back to another episode of Cruzy Plays with me, Cruzy Plays. We are back today. I don't know. Ask, shall I do the old episode in that accent or what? I don't know what happened. We are back today with another episode of the Plymouth Argo Career Mood. We are back with the Liverpool game. You know Liverpool? They're arch rivals with Man United. Yes, so we are back today with the Liverpool game. Um, I think what we should do, because we've got a four-game triple header, four-game quadruple header, should I say, I think we shouldn't muck around anymore doing accents. We should jump right in and check out what's happened in the last two games. Since our shitty result in the Tottenham game, if you didn't see that video, go check out the last video. That was bloody annoying. But, oh well, it is what it is, isn't it? So, as you can see, back today for the Liverpool game in the Champions League semi-final. We were on for the treble, but now we're obviously only on for the double. Yeah, we are now set only for a double of the Champions League and the league if we can scrump it. So looking at the schedule since you were last with us, which was the defeat against Tottenham 2-0. They deserved it, in fairness to them. You know, they, 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 they were just better. We got a 2-0 home win, which we... I'm over live on Twitch. I'll stream most of this over on Twitch if you're, if you're not with me through through if you want to check out the games in between then they will be over on twitch I, I i don't fake any of this shit and i think some of the best ways to do it is to actually stream it live so all of the full videos will be over on twitch because you can go check out the twitch channel and all of the content will be there from like the last seven days so if you're watching this and want to go lots of the full live one then please go check out the Twitch as well. But we got a 2-0 win against Arsenal, which is a great result. It kept us in the chase against Liverpool. And the last game was a 4-2. Zikovic got a hat-trick. I did set in some targets to pay like a 720 in the next sort of few games because hmm, his average rating hasn't been brilliant this season. But he just banged in a hat-trick, so the target is there. And his target is to get a 720 in competitive first team matches and that's for him to be a uh, to go up back up to a regular starter so we will see what happens with him but he banged on a hat trick so you know that's a great start 9.2 of a hat trick you know you, you can't moan too much of that so back for the liverpool game we are in the first leg of the champions league semi-final in the league it's going okay we are a point behind with a game in hand against Liverpool but the fixtures coming up are absolutely bum if you look at the calendar we're on the 29th of April we've got Liverpool on Tuesday Norwich on the Thursday so we've got a day's rest in between <laughs> then a day's rest after the Norwich game to play Chelsea and then the Liverpool game on the Tuesday I mean sorry and then the Liverpool game the following Wednesday so we've got four games in a week now which I, I don't get. It makes no sense. I know they're trying to shove in games. Look at that. Liverpool. Second to last game of the season. Ball. Trying to shove in games. But Jesus. Can, Jesus Christ football manager. Give me a chance. Isn't it? Give me half a chance. So these next four games are going to make or break our absolute season. So let's not muck around anymore. And hop right into this Liverpool game. So let's do this. As per usual, I'll do the usual biz, name us a starting eleven, and then I'll be right back to hopefully get a result against Liverpool. See you guys in a sec. So going in, it's going to be pretty similar to what we've had. I'm going to go Elian Andre, Toi, Van Kempen, Osez, Pizer. I think it's my best back four, although I do think Pizer, Pizer is not going to get too much better than what he is. I don't think, and the same goes for Cafezas. I think they're going to peak rather soon. I do actually like Cafezas. It's just his crossing. I don't approve his dribbling. His dribbling's shit as well. Ball control. There we go. Do some ball control with him. So Cafezas or Pazer. I think either one are pretty good for me at left back. But Pazer I do prefer. Both of them are actually playing rather shit. I'm expecting a little bit more from them both if I'm honest. We've got a few injury worries. The other 21s must have played recently. And that's ballsed up a lot of my players. But I think I'm starting 11 strong enough to get a result here against Liverpool. So 
Let's do this. Look at the way everyone's pissing on Zitkovic. Like, piss, piss, piss. They all love him. Just piss all over Zitkovic. Let's go. So for our team talk, we are going to pump our fist. We have to win our home games. No excuses. Pump our fist. No faith. We've got faith there, so we can pump our fist, make a difference. Pump our fist, make a difference. Let's go. Oh, I've been set it to that stupid positive. Don't like it on positive. It's attacking in normal. Don't know why I've set it to that. And Naki with a very clever free kick to Plainter. Naki comes in the hands, but the pass is short and twice quick. And he's gone again. And he's super quick. That's a great ball. And Kepa Ruiz off of the crossbar within four minutes. That's unlucky. And that's a great opening start to the game. That's what I want to see. I'm going to offer some encouragement with sort of 20-ish minutes to go. Or gone, sorry. Oh, no. I'm ranting. There seems like a lot of names I don't recognize. They're left back. They're center back. They could be regens. Why well, still got Wanner and Black Biatic. I don't recognize Prosser. Oh, Jukic does really well to intercept. Gambella back to Jukic. It's a great ball to Petkovic, but Zikovic will pick it up and he will finish it. Yes. <sighs> Pop it up when it matters. Big moments. That is what we need. And that ball from Jukic, it could have found either one, but Petkovic did back off, leave it. And Zikovic just made no mistake whatsoever to make it 1-0 early doors. And a bit quieter now, but that's not the end of the world. I would love rather go to Anfield with a couple of goals under my belt. Prosser, but Pizzard as well. Could have stayed on his feet and probably still won that. Even Nielsen, Pizzard as well again. Could have stayed on his feet probably. And Jude Bellingham. Ooh. Liverpool have got Jude Bellingham. Caparuz at the corner whips it to the back post. But enough people there, but nobody could rise. Gambella. Bring it inside. Jukic, Pizzard. Turns and Sikovic. Yes, lad. Set him this goal. And he's got five goals in two games now. Fucking, why weren't you doing this all season, you prick? There he is. Showed off the last defender behind Pizzer. And enough to finish it to make it 2 0 at half time. Pump fist. Nope. I'm going to go. No gesture. We've had a lot of shots on target. Which we have. Alright, Ortegon. To Prosser, to Wana, but Jukic does well. Pizzer can't quite get there, but Wana will cut inside and he's given too much time. Too much time. And Wana from that distance, and that space, and that amount of time will punish us. I'm not keen on watching the opposition's replays, but... One was a player I was looking at back in the day. And that's a great finish, in fairness. And Andre stood no chance. Uh, oh, and Zikovic again. I was, I, was, I was looking at everything that's going on here. And that goal's been disallowed, though. Gambella's picked up a knock, so he's going to have to come off. Oh, referee, that's onside. Allow it. Allow it. I'm going to try offer some encouragement. I know most of the boys are playing really well, but I want I would like them to maintain it, really. 2-1 going into the Liverpool game away is dodgy. I would love another goal. I would hate them to score. Cafezas. My back four are playing shit. Petkovic, four. Mm. Shit. Subwise, it's tricky. Al Hassan cannot be playing under 21 football anymore. I was doing it to keep him fit, but he is just, he's a backup. And Liverpool come, and they're, they're piling through, and Elian and Andre does really well. Oh, 
Oh, and Barky finds the cat who finds Kepa Ruiz. Oh, he just didn't have it in him. I'm going to have to do that, actually. Mm. Yeah, Carlos De Beast can finish it. I'm going to just refresh that back line. That's what I feel needs doing the most. Kepa Ruiz with a corner. Jukic couldn't get it. Lukaku will still pick it up as the highlight continues. Panero. Sanchez or says. Panero still takes his time. The, the highlight continues, which as long as I've got the ball, I'm happy about. Or says to Jukic. To Kepa Ruiz. Out to Gafesa. You burst down the left. Whips in the cross. Carlos De Beast will bring it under control. Back to Jukic. Yes. Oh, it was worth it. It was a long old highlight, but it was worth it. Cafes is cross. Carlos Abis does well to take his time. And Jukic drills it. Yes, to make it 3 1. Going to Anfield with 3 1 is better than going with 2. Oh. Oh, what did Elian Andre do? What the fuck did Elian Andre do? Look at this, look. What is he doing? He fell over. Like, what's he doing? Sake. Right, instant highlight. Cafesus. This is instant. Panera will bring it forward. Oh, Zitkovic is onside, on his weaker foot, and he'll smash it in. Yes, he will to make it 4-2. Stop conceding. Focus. Sanchez's ball, Zitkovic hit it first time on his right foot, and he gets another hat-trick. Where has he been all season? Phases. Lovely ball. Oh, and Zikovic back off the crossbar. I mean, what a ball from Kafezas that was. And that will bring us to a very nice end to that game. We go to Anfield with a two-goal lead after a six-goal thriller here at Home Park. Absolutely beasting. We will say outstretch. Good win for us, lads. Well done. And guys, we will be back in less than two days' time. We are going to rest this starting 11 training. We were back in two days gone for the Norwich game. So I look forward to seeing you guys in a bit. In a bit. So gang, back we are with the Norwich City game. I'm expecting a win. Norwich are in a relegation fight. I'm in a title chase. Let's hope that we can get this, maintain this good run despite the odd result against Tottenham. Bloody Tottenham, odd, odd spam Spurs beating us and that. Apart from that, We've been doing really good lately, so let's hope we can maintain this form. Take it into the Norwich game and get a really good result here. I'll do the usual biz, name a starting 11, and I'll be right back with us. So I'm going to ring in the changes due to the fact that fitness and all of those things. So we're going to go Elian Andre, Sanchez at right back, Van Kempen, Pinero, Cafezas is going to come in at left back, Carlos De Beast and Jukic will maintain their positions in there. Pekovic as a support striker on the right. Lukak attacking midfielder. Bellingham as a support striker. And Martin's going to come in up front. I know that Zikovic has been in such good form lately. But I'm hoping that Martin can come and do a job here. I've got so many games, important games coming up that I'm hoping this game can be a good result. So let's jump in and give it our best shot. Oh, nervous. It is squeaky bum time, isn't it? Okay, okay, well. So we will pump our fists. I'm just going to say we're favourites. Go out there and give the fans something to cheer. So early doors, we've had the ball. No, I need to change that after the next game. Sanchez just couldn't get around hanging, but he still picks up the ball before it goes out. Knocks it inside to Jukic. And the ref looks like he's given a penalty. 
He will check it on VAR. And it's awarded. That will do you, pig. Who's going to step up and take it? I think it'll be Jukic, Martin. And he scores. Yes, lad. He missed his very first penalty for us, but he gets it. And that make, makes it his sixth goal of the season. I'm hoping. I'm hoping Manuel Martin can be next season's big name. Him and Pescalo are the guys I'm hoping. Pescalo's out on loan. But if I get big enough offers for Zikovic and from Barkey, they're both going. I'll, I've, I'm, my heart's set on it. I think it's what we need to go on to the next level. So... <sighs> 40 minutes gone in this game and there's nothing flying off of the shelves at me to make me think this is amazing but we're winning so that's all that matters do not get complacent out there and I'm actually going to offer some encouragement after that because I think there's more in them Bellingham will take the corner gets it to the back post no one can win it clearly but Martin will pick it up He'll take it to the byline. Knock it back to Carlos the Beast. Oh, and Jukic's finish. It was an own goal, but Jesus, Jukic smashed it and it hit Diaz in the head. I think more than him, him trying to header it. Carlos the Beast loses the tackle but knocks it back and Diaz couldn't get out of the way. Knocks him and goes in. It was going wide. Hit Diaz and went in. That'll do you. So I'm going to flip this down to balanced. And then make some early changes. Al Hassan. You can see the team's going to go around. Pekka just come off. Flint. Maybe we'll need to restart in the next game. It's going to get a bit of a rest now. I think we'll go with four or five changes there. Bring on Roberts, Al Hassan, Flint. And Stacey Keane will get a run out. Which isn't something you'll hear often. Keane wins it in defence in midfield. Cafezas couldn't quite find the ball inside, but they're mucking around in Bellingham. Just tings it over the bar. It was unlucky. For the last couple of minutes, I'm going to swap Lukaku and Bellingham over. Bellingham can be like amazing through the middle. Scored a couple of wonder goals this season. Was that this season or last season? I think it was this season in the FA Cup. The only goal he scored was an absolute wonder goal. Pinero will pick it up. Lukak, Pinero. Nice and cool. You and Roberts. Sanchez. Oh, and the ball was whipped in, but it is blocked well by Diaz. Um, ignore. I know Sanchez is exhausted, but actually, a couple of minutes is really going to hurt Twa too much. Flint does well to win it back. Twa will bring it out. You'll keep bringing it out. Keep bringing it out. Keep bringing it out. Oh, yes, you do. Joseph Twa has killed the game for us. Nice work, lad. Offer some praise there. That's fair. Fantastic work. He just absolutely blitzed everybody away. And the cack slots it in. Easy, do ya? Canazares will send it long. Coley will win it, Sergeant and Buemo. Fantastic ball in behind, and yeah. Ooh, supposedly an offside, but. It looked like it was all good to me, but no, sadly disallowed for them. Looks like the defenders will get their clean sheet bonus. Well done, lads. That will do and keep us very much on the tail of Liverpool. Outstretch arms, good win for us. I'm going to big them up loads come the end of the season. Keep momentum going. And yes, we'll take us top of the league. Two games to go, two points clear of Liverpool. We have absolutely huge goal difference. So nobody's worried about that, are they? And 
that will leave us in a really good spot. We've qualified for the Champions League. The budget for next season is 156 million. We are Plymouth Argyle, don't forget. And Simon Hallett is giving us 156 million. That's not bad, is it? We will see you guys in two, get two days' time for the Chelsea game, which is going to be tough. Our, our end of the season games are tough. So I look forward to seeing you guys in two days' time. See you in a bit. So, gang, back for the Chelsea game we are. Two points clear of Liverpool currently at the top of the league, which is really good. It gives us a bit of a cushion, although mm, nothing much with, what, four games to play. So we'll invite Chelsea to Hong Park and hopefully get a really decent result against them. As we find out what's been going on in the results. It should give us everybody else's results quickly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So this will give us a chance to go five points clear after Spurs smash Liverpool 3-0. What a result. Thank you, Spurs. So this puts us in good stead. We can win this and go five points clear with three games to play. Oh, cushion. So let's go and do the biz. I will choose a starting eleven, and we will go from there. I'll see you guys in a bit. Going in, I'm going to go with what I think is my strongest eleven. We're going to go Eden Andre, Twa. Van Kempen, Osez, Pizer, Carlos de Bees, Djukic, Pekovic, Gambella, Kepa Ruiz, and Zikovic up front. Zikovic has been on form lately. He doesn't always got my approval this season, but I'm going to go for him for this big game. Everybody is pissing on him. Piss on Zikovic again, day. so let's go. And we will go. Pump fish. Good run. Go and, go and, go and, go and impress me. Let's go, lads. No, I forgot to do it again. Right, got to remember to change that. Because we get the win and it's so easy. <laughs> I forget that I've got to do that. Because I'll change it now and forget about it coming in another game. So I'm going to offer 20 minutes gone. Offer something. No, I'm not. I'm just going to let it be. Oh, and Gambella thought he would try something. Try and stick it down the, the, the keeper's gullet and see if he could deal with it. Twa. And that will end that. I'm going to offer some encouragement. No, I'm not. Every time I'm about to offer some encouragement, a highlight pops up. Oh, and it's a lovely win. Oh. Gaussio Ramos. Gone. I, I can't pronounce that right, obviously. Ramos puts Chelsea 1-0 up. I don't care about watching their goals. But I would like to check out how, who he is. Yeah, it is. 51 mil he paid. Ooh, and that's only his eighth goal of the season. Gambella. Collis the Beast. Back to Gambella. Oh, he tings it off the post and Zikovic could have done better, but it was blocked by the front for Fano in the end. A magic block from Fofana. And Stonia will come out and grab it. Caparuz with another corner. Whips it. Anna says wins it. All six foot six of him. Yes, lad. Oh, says whipped in. Uh, Ruiz whipped in. Oh, says wins it. Not the clearest of headers you could see, but he did. I'm going to offer some more encouragement with five minutes to go. Putting the pressure on Chelsea. To the back post again. Twa to Gambella. Oh. oh, my goodness. I didn't even see it myself. I just seen the net ripple. Oh, my God. Kepa Ruiz. It's well won by Fofana. Twa knocks it down and Gambella absolutely rifled it for what I think is like his 23rd of the season I'm just going to go no gesture you've had a lot of shots on target you're happy I'm happy with that I tend to find that that is one of the best ones Martin Mansvik sends it long but Kepruiz will get a bit of a header on it Oh, too much room for Kelman Milanrak. There's too much room, lads. That's pissing poor. 
It really is. And he's got an assist and a goal this game. Best Slovenian youngster. He looks dangerous, doesn't he? Pekovic. Van Kempen, Jukic, Ruiz. And that's a good save in the end. I'm going to demand some more. 53 minutes gone. Gambella. Oh, I thought the highlight was going to continue. I was hopeful. A point will put us three points clear of Liverpool. Two shots, two on target. That's what pisses me off the most. I make five changes. Can one of them? Sanchez, Cafezas, Al Hassan, Lukak, or Mbarki do something? I'm going to offer some more encouragement with 10 minutes to go. A draw's not the end of the world, if I'm honest. We'll see if we can go a bit more direct. We definitely deserve the win. I am just going to say you're unlucky tonight. I think we deserved it. We deserve a win. It keeps us three points clear with three games to play. City are out of it, but with Liverpool losing three 0 to Spurs, that does that does give me a give me a bump. And Chelsea aren't the easiest team in the world, so I'm going to go squad quickly, and we are going to go everybody. It's going to get training and get two days rest. And I will see you guys for the most important game of this bloody live stream of this episode, should I say, which is going to be Liverpool away in three days time. But I look forward to it. See you in a bit. So back we is gang. Ooh. So I'm we are the current holders of this of the Champions League. And the venue of the final is going to be at the new Camp, which is exciting. For real skis? But we need to get through this semi-final against Liverpool fast. So that's not my current anymore. This has been a four-game episode. And we will look to beat Liverpool here. So let's do the bit, isn't it? I will do all of the usual stuff. I don't think anything's going to change, if I'm honest with you. But do the usual stuff. Name our starting eleven, and I'll be right back. So going in, the only single change I'm going to make going in is going to be Cafezas for Pazer. So it's going to be Elin Andre, Toi, Van Kempen, Osses, Cafezas, Carlos de Beast, Jukic, Petkovic, Gambella, Kepruiz, and Zikovic up front. I'm going to hope that these guys can do the biz for me. Petkovic is just playing shit, but that's because... A bid come in from PSG right at the start of the season, if you remember. If you don't remember and you knew this is this is what happened. And he's been it, unhappy all season because of that. It's absolutely annoying. But I will offer him some encouragement as a person. So the only change going in from the Chelsea game is or says, oh, let's do it. Attacking going in. Let's go. So they're going to be fuming. I'm going to ask them to put on a good display because the media have said Liverpool are going to be fuming. They're going to be bawling at me. Holy sheesh. Liverpool still have a banging squad. Theo Hernandez, Arnold, Wanner, Bellingham, Univar. And it's going to be a free kick. Wanner right on the edge of the box. Oh, and then Andre, I think, saved it. Zikovic will bring it away. And he's found Kepa Ruiz. Oh, he just couldn't sort it in. It was so close. It was so, so close. But half an hour to go. Liverpool will get a highlight. Theo Hernandez. Trent Alexander has been asked to cut inside. Oh, it's nice football from Liverpool. Even Nielsen. Oh, and it's 1-0. That's Jude Bellingham. Is he offside? Please be offside. 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 He is offside. Yes! It's got to be close because I thought it was... He was offside. That'll do you, pig. I'm going to offer some encouragement. What annoys me is sometimes your players think that you're winning... And I don't care about that scoreline. I care about this scoreline, the nil-nil. But half-time coming in, and we're holding it off. 
don't look at the scoreboard we have a job to do pick up where you left off i'm happy with that as a message i can offer some encouragement as if we can just hold off i do believe we've got enough to nick it here i mean we nicked it in the burn about jukic tried to find gambella but it's cleared by marcos and Kempin, Kefesis, lovely little turn. Brings it back inside Jukic to Carlos de Beast. Finds Petkovic, but Kanate does really well. Tried to keep the pressure on. Now be cool with it, Van Kempin. He is. Kefesis, but it gives it away. Prosser. Oh, and even Nielsen should have done so much better. Oh, my giddy aunt. Instant highlight, though. Carlos de Beast, Petkovic. He's playing piss poor. Zikovic couldn't quite get there. Oh, I says you should have brought that down. You had way more time. It's a bad decision. Even Ilson this time will slot it away, and that's silly. I'm going to switch to balance, and I'm going to offer some encouragement. Never fucked. All right, bring in a load of changes, and that seemed to cancel that highlight a bit. Caparis with the corner. Ailton. Ailton skips, Pizzer back to Ailton. Oh, he almost managed to find a way to Zikovic. And Liverpool come again, but... This is tense. Ten minutes to go. A Liverpool free kick. And the Anzu. Jesus, that was close. Our free kick, Gambella. Oh, he's, he's ambitious trying from there, really. Come on, lads. Pizzer. Take his time with the throw in. Find Capri's back to Pizzer. Oh, he found Gambella, who had loads of space. He was onside. There didn't look like there seemed to be any offside there. If it is, it's fractional. Yes. Kepperies back to Pazer. Cross chip to the back post and Gambella knocks it back across. And that kills it in, in stoppage time to make it 5 3 on aggregate. Not as exhilarating a game here at Anfield, but oh, Kepperies now. In a bit of space, he cuts in, he's still got time. Oh, and he slots it. He fucking slots it, you know. To make it 6-3 on aggregate, 2-1 on the night. And we go to the Champions League final at the new Camp. Yes! Kepperuiz cuts inside. Oh, off the post and in. Oh, but is there going to be another little goal to make it 2-1 on the night? Liverpool not giving up the ghost. Sneaky. Wanner. Made him score on both legs if he had. Yes. Yes, we go to the Champions League final, people. That's how you handle a two-legged tie. Very good job. Banger of a game. Banger of a win. That is brilliant for us. We go to the new Camp. And we receive loads of money, which is the best thing of everything. So, we've got scheduled games coming up. I think everything's going to go to the wire. So... I will do the Burnley game and I will come back for a triple header end of the season beast. We will see. I don't think I'll have won the league by the Burnley game. So I'm only three points clear. Everything is going to go down to that game at Anfield and then the game with Leicester at home park to the league season. And then we face Barcelona in the new Camp. <laughs> in the Champions League final. You can't write that stuff. That is beautiful. 
So gang, that is it from me. I look forward to seeing you all at the next episode, which is going to be the Liverpool away game in the league. We have got tough games to come. So if you've watched this episode, thank you very, very much. Please comment, like, subscribe. You know all the rest of it. You know what to do. You've been on YouTube for ages now. So if you've made it this far, you are a YouTube vet. So much love from me as always. Peace. Thank you.